Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 34 of Video Games Ahoy! My name is Jonathan Radford, and today I'm joined by Dav Cape. Halo. And Zach Hamilton. Infinite. <laughs> I like it. I like it, actually. I couldn't think of anything else that had been like announced recently. I mean, it's it's very apt. Um, yeah. Halo Infinite has just been given a release date, which we'll talk... Well, a release window, mm. uh, which we'll have a chat about later, So, which is looking very promising. But, um, yeah, how, how are you guys doing? Good, good. I'm enjoying I, the... I mean, I've just been looking at Halo screenshots. <laughs> it looks day. gorgeous, doesn't it? It, oh. looks, it looks really nice. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen any of the uh, the screenshots. Actually, I'm going to have a look them up. Look up. Uh, it's look it's nice. Up the show. Yeah, it's really good. It's um, it looks lovely. Uh, that's the multiplayer. I, I mean, obviously, that's not the main game, but it's going to look the same, really, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. I'm also enjoying how there's uh beards, Christmas beards going on. Christmas here. beards. Not not mine so much. I had no. mine last week, but you guys look delicious. We've gone with it. This, We've... Is, this is lockdown beard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lockdown beard. I like it. Oh, Dad, because you, you're you're a man who used to get his uh, beard like properly. Looked after, didn't you? Yeah, I do like getting it uh, barbered. Yeah, um, but there have been no barbers until mm. recently. You're yeah. you're a man of style, a man of a taste. Man of, well, yeah, it's poor taste, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you are listening to the uh, to us for the first time, by the way, then hello, because we are video games ahoy. And if you know us well, like I always say, then welcome back. I, I don't know why you keep coming back. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but we're very glad you do. Uh, it's Dav weeks. Back. That's what brings him back. <laughs> yeah. he's not been every here for every last week, weeks. they just keep keep expecting him, and it's just like he's not Tuning here. out when they see he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we put these episodes out every Saturday morning, though, where you can listen to us by the podcast ho- host of your choice. Um, but if you uh, want to see these deliciously dreamy mugs of ours, then uh, you can check us out on YouTube as well, because we're also on there. And uh, stick around to the end, because we'll talk about Patreon as well, uh, and what you can get if you go over and contribute over there. Uh, but to everyone that does contribute, then thank you so much. I say it every week, but we really do appreciate everything you give to us. Now, guys, um, should, we, should we start with start with news? Uh, and yes. I think there's one thing in, in, in particular we should talk about. Because it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Not Cyberpunk. The Game Awards. Game Awards. Oh, I thought you were talking about Cyber. I totally thought you were talking about Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is coming. That is definitely coming. Same but, day. Um, yeah, same day. Yeah, same, same day. Um, but the Game Awards, uh, um, by the time this actually will come out, the Game Awards will be finished, finito, done. Um, but an award has actually already been given out, and that is the Player's Choice Award. And uh, does anyone know what game it was given out to? It was Ghost Assassin's Shima. Creed Japan. <laughs> it was Ghost yeah. of Tsushima. So congratulations to Sucker Punch. Um, I'm, I've actually got a copy in the post. Well, I did have a copy in the post. I just had a message from Curry saying that it was lost in transit. Uh, I um, Rosie ordered it on the 20th of November. And uh, it's, yeah, it's lost in transit. But they're sending me a new one. So I will get one for Christmas. Yeesh. So I, I, I'm excited to play it because I didn't want to buy it at full price because I would... I, I, I had other games to play, but the fact that I've got it now, and, and it was the reason why Curry's, I think, had an issue with it was they reduced it by like twenty quid, and so many people bought copies, and I, I, I think that might have been an issue of like is it, stock. Is it Assassin's Creed Japan, or is it? I, I thought it was a Dark Souls. Uh, uh, that's Sek- 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 Sekiro. Oh, so Sekiro, Sekiro, yeah, Sekiro is what yeah. I'm thinking of. Yeah, they, they, they well, look yeah. They're aesthetically very similar. They came out them. quite a, a kind of a similar time. Not they? far off. Yeah, yeah not far yeah, off. Okay, Sekiro that's came that's out the same time as Neo Two as well, which yeah. is like right. a Dark Souls esque Japan thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. That that's why I'm getting uh, mixed up. Yeah. My so it's interesting because my my uh, my pal um, who actually uh, joined the stream last night um, he um, he loves um, Ghost of Tsushima. He he. he, he he raves about it. He has. He said it was a really good game. So I'm, I am excited to try it. I, I'm. I'm. From what I've seen, I. I do I think it should be game of the year or? Mm, I mean, we'll get onto that in a little bit. I mean, Players Choice Award is fine. The, however, the one thing I will say with the Players Choice Award, apparently, and this is, uh, this is the sad thing we're going to talk about. Apparently, um, it was. Uh, basically, it was a, apparently there was a campaign to make sure that The Last of Us Two didn't win. Um, no surprises reasons, there, though. <laughs> yeah, for reasons we probably don't need to get into again for like the millionth time. But yeah, I, I, the, and it's, it's it's a shame for the people who love that the Ghost of Tsushima. I and think truly think it's their game of the year. That's amazing. I'm so glad like you found a game that you love. But there are people who genuinely didn't just just didn't want Last of Us Two to win, which is it's well, just silly. My my two game of the year games of the year weren't even on the shortlist for the top thirty that you could vote for. So. As far as I'm yeah. concerned, I don't really 
hold much her- merit to this award because. No. But that's the, the thing. The original list was weird to begin with. Like mm. there were some weird things on there, and so weird things like not on there. Like Yakuza yeah. wasn't on there. Mm. But, but that, then that, you had like XCOM um, Chimera yeah. Squad, which was on there, which was a fine game. But it was like a seven a seven point five out of ten kind of game. I remember like, you saying that. I remember you saying it on on here. Like they're just yeah. It was, just, it was a weird list, and um, I don't know. Like they they put things on there like the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition because mm. it got shafted for the actual game awards. Um, it feels like that was just a pandering thing, and that didn't even make the past the first round. So it's like, wh- yeah. why'd you bother when you could have put some like actual new games on there? Yeah, Zach, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say it's, I, just, I agree, it's just so typical of of like award systems to just be like, yeah. it can only be these five very similar <laughs> games. You know what I mean? Like as much as we can say, like Ghost of, Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us Two are very different games. They're also hyper re- hyper realistic third person action mm. uh, action adventure games. So they are very different, obviously, but they're also not that different. Mm, you know, they're still yeah. within a very uh, two thousand and nineteen to two thousand twenty frame, or sort of twenty ten sort of frame of AAA AAA yeah. games. Yeah. Um, when you compare it to the the vast scope of what games are and what games can be, mm. is it really game of the year? You know what I mean? Are we really doing game of the year, or are we doing game of the year out of the five AAA over the yeah. shoulder. I mean, what were the other, so what were the other options we had? Ghost of Tsushima. So for the Last for the main two. for the main for the main award, uh, it was Animal Crossing, Doom, Final Fantasy VII uh, remake, Hades, Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. and Last of Us Two. That's that's the the award that is still yeah. yet to be announced. The real one. The the, the, the Players <laughs> Choice Award. Um, yeah. Was the, it was the, never going to get Last of Us Two so... was never going to get the Players no, Choice, was no, it? It, it was just, always going to get fire bombed. Which is again a shame because it's. It, I mean, I personally think it's a really good game, but. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah. I like I said, I still don't want it to get the game of the year. I kind of would rather it go to like Animal Crossing because it seems to mean so much to people. Yeah. The only reason that I don't think that Animal Crossing should get it is because it's uh, it's not like okay, yeah, okay, it's a new game, but it's a new game based yeah. on a game that basically already exists. You know, it's the, mm. it's Animal Crossing. I mean, you know? Last of Us Part Two isn't that just Last of Us? It, exactly, it's just the Last yeah. of Us and a bit more. That's why I really because want Tsushima that. Tsushima is just Assassin's Creed you, uh, Odyssey, but in Japan, I, I know it's very easy to kind of. Mm. I'm going off on one now because it's so easy to be like <laughs> to be it. to to um because every game is is built off something else. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just at least in our when we do our our uh, um, Hall of Fame stuff hmm. a lot of, one of the big things that we tr- that we talk about is like innovation yeah. like doing something new how does this affect the industry and some of these games just won't like and I find that to be a strange thing that we just disregard I appreciate hmm. there's only so many games in each year and something has to win um, it's, but it, yeah, yeah, and and it's interesting as well because one thing I I, I we, we mentioned when we first spoke about this is one thing I didn't really mention and that like realistically Cyberpunk probably would have been in there if if it yeah. had and if it had mm. been released when it was well even if it had released in September when it was supposed to have released what the like the third time it was supposed to release it probably it probably would have made the list at least um not that i think again i haven't played it so i can't tell you if it should win i mean the most interesting one on the list and i think we've said it this maybe is hades mm. that that is the, possibly the most interesting one yeah along with animal crossing i i don't know I, personally i was gonna ask you guys um i think me and dab pretty much said, had our say that we both think that last of us 2 is gonna win i think that that is going to win whether I think it should win, I don't know because I haven't played all those games. Um, I still have a more. feeling it might end up being Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know why. I haven't played it. it I just be. have this weird, creeping feeling that that's going to be the thing. And I don't, I don't really have yeah. a stake in it. You know what I mean? Like if it, I mean, personally, I, I was, I was going to say. So like my my like it. These 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 awards are for me really the really fun celebration of video games. But totally. at the end of the day. Who cares? Like who cares? Really, yeah, at the end yeah. of the day, it's it's fun and it's yeah, great. Yeah. It's you know I, I enjoy it. It's like oh that's nice. And then I'll you know I'll usually the things I ever really go back to when it comes to of these lists are like when they do musical medleys and I'll listen to it on YouTube because they're always awesome. Like they did a Red Dead Redemption uh, one like two years ago and they had three songs from it and it was amazing. And then the year before when they had like um, that amazing 2017 you know Super Mario. Uh, Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, um, Horizon uh, Zero Dawn. They had a musical medley of all like the, all of those mm. songs mixed in. Yeah, and it was, yeah. Again, it was amazing. It was it was. I think those that were my favorite cool. things from the show. And the other favorite thing from the show, which is probably the best way to move on to the next topic, is 
uh, that apparently um, there's going to be 15 new game reveals, according to That's Jeff That's my favorite Keighley. bit of the Game yeah. Awards, anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's always... I mean, the thing is, ultimately, we, we need to remember with the Game Awards... It's great celebrating these games, but most of the time it's just marketing. And that's fine because it's always nice to be like, wow, that game was announced and wow, this game was announced. But according to yeah. Jeff Keighley uh, on a Reddit AMA, 50, uh, what does he say? 12 to 15 new games will be announced. Uh, what does that he- mean? 12 to 15? How does he not know? <laughs> I don't know. He should, shouldn't he? He should. He really Maybe should. Maybe he's know. only like he's counting some of them as like half a game. Right? <laughs> well, like, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, it seems like there might be a PUBG single player game announced. Ah, uh, okay. Huh. So maybe that would be a half. Uh, yeah, and maybe one thing, a couple things like that. One thing I would say as well is, um, I think it was about two years ago now. Um, the Metro Prime trilogy was supposed. Well, there was huge rumors from people who knew that that game was going to be announced, and it got pulled at the last minute. So I don't know. Maybe when he's saying twelve to fifteen, maybe one's going to get pulled at the last minute. Who knows? And, and twelve to fifteen could be could be a trilogy. Mm. That would be like, oh, it's one game, but it's three. Yeah, mm. yeah, good, good yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. But uh, yeah, so uh, could be Rock- another toothbrushing simulator. <laughs> maybe. I hope so. Yeah, I yeah. Hope so. Pokemon so. hair brushing will be next. Pokemon uh, shaving. Pokemon. <laughs> smile. <laughs> Pokemon smile. I'm Pokemon glad, smile. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad Dad remembered. <laughs> I, I really appreciate uh, Zach's Pokemon shaving. That's the next one. That is. Yeah, just, yeah. That's you get the leg extensions. Well, it's been well. long enough now that some of those kids are um, old enough. Now they have to learn how to shave, right? So it's like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? that? Was that was so funny? We watched that. Yeah. In, instead of Brill cream, it'll be Cyndaquil cream. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> if you are not watching this, you're getting a lot of cheeky eyebrows. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, like you said, um, a few companies in particular, apparently Microsoft are going to announce something new. Uh, a Dragon Age 4 is another one uh, that is apparently going to be announced. That's been rumored for a long time. So Even though the two heads of Bioware have just left. Well, that's, again, something we're going to talk about a little bit because that is... That, that is... I mean, we've spoken about Bio- Bioware recently, but we'll get onto that in a little bit. But, yeah. Um, I'm excited, really excited. Is there anything that you'd like to see announced? Uh, that, that like announced um, shadow dropped anything? Um, I'm sure there is. Uh, I'd like to see gameplay from Hellblade Two. That be yeah. Do you know what? That's that a good be shout. Cool. That'd yeah. be, that's a good shout. I actually, I would like, to, I would actually like to see Breath of the Wild Two trailer because. We haven't oh, yeah, had... Nintendo always brings something. They always well, they they they're, they're one of their big trailers for Breath of the Wild One was at yeah. the uh, at the VJs in 2016, they, I think it was. And they had that um, sort of like in depth playthrough with uh, Miyamoto and yeah, uh, yeah. Aonuma. Yeah, they did. They back did. when it was still coming. Like it was back when it is that back when it was just a Wii U game. I think at that I think it was 2016 or 2015. So I think they knew the Switch was coming, but it sure. was still. I mean, they were playing uh-huh. it with a Wii U gamepad. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's um, I I I honestly I am excited to see what happens. I'm I'm interested to see who's going to take the top prize. But ultimately, I just want to see games. Just give me the I, games. I want to see Spirit Fairer come away with an award. That'd be nice. And I'll have a great evening watching that. Mm. I think that game is so deserving. It's yeah. really compelling narrative um makes some really important points mm. and like t- touches like some really emotive points in there yeah um and it just looks gorgeous it's mm. fun to play it's the characters are great the writing is stellar huh the main character is called stellar as well <laughs> um stella stella um but yeah just reminds me of the simpsons song can you hear me yella sorry <laughs> anyway, <laughs> do you know, yeah. actually thinking back to thinking back to Pokemon Smile, you know what would be cool to hear, to see from would be to hear from if it won Game Sna- of the Year. No, Pokemon <laughs> Snap because oh. that was when oh, that's yeah. when they announced Pokemon oh, Snap. We haven't heard that, anything since. That's, that's a really good point. That was like yeah, that was, that was ago. We all like that like just couldn't believe. Yeah, we all it. lost our shit. We lost it, and then it was never mentioned again. Yeah. Uh, I think this this Game Awards. If we're not going to get a Pokemon Smile two, can we get Bath Time with Kratos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so That'd disturbing. Be fun. Be fun. Um, boy, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> on my back, boy. No. Right here, boy. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, well, in the next day, but by Saturday, you'll already know, and we'll sound like fools. Be like that wasn't there, you fool. And I do do maternal one. I one hundred percent guarantee you an announcement 
about a Star Wars game. Ooh. It yeah, would already well, have I happened. Mean... And everyone watching Surely. this go, dude, that guy's an idiot. <laughs> 100%. It's Star Trek, Dav. God, but yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, game awards. Uh, yeah, let's let's keep in touch because uh, you know it was nice. Uh, anyway, let's move on because um, we mentioned it already. But uh, Cyberpunk has has technically released in New Zealand, which means people playing it on an Xbox. Uh, can actually play it. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you are playing on an Xbox, this is just off the top of my head. I don't have the information in front of me. I read it earlier and I mentioned it to Dav. But if you are playing on an Xbox Series X, S, or the, the One X and all those, the previous gens as well, I think if you can change your um, your location to yeah. uh, like uh, manually and you can change it to New Zealand, which means you can actually unlock Cyberpunk and start playing it straight away. I think a few people have already done that. Yeah, um, and, and, and you can change it to New Zealand buy the game, then change it back to the UK or US or anything and still mm. play it from there. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, anyone that wants to play the game would recommend doing it. However, if you are going to play it, um, there, <laughs> genuine word, like, oh, yeah. word of warning. Uh, so, um, Liana Rupert I, R- Rupert, I don't know if it's Rupert or Rupert, I do apologize, but um, she sadly suffered epileptic seizures from playing Cyberpunk 2077 and has put out a PSA to warn anyone that suffers from the condition. In an article uh, on Game Informer, she wrote, over the years, accessibility has been uh, garnering more and more attention in the gaming space, and for good reason. While many studios have been making an incredible effort to make games more accessible to all, there is always more work to be done in entertainment, not just games. After playing Cyberpunk 2077 for the past week and a half, there is an epileptic warning I'd like to offer to those samurai heading into Night City. During my time with Cyberpunk 2077, I suffered one major seizure and felt several moments where I was close to another one. I kept going because I made the decision to, I made that decision to, um, and I feel that that decision helped me sort of slap together a small little guide for players wanting to take part in this game for fear of missing out. Um, so yeah, if, if you do want to read it, I would recommend anyone that is suffering, uh, who suffers from epilepsy, like, uh, my, uh, Rosie's sister suffers from it. She's obviously not going to, she's not going to play this game, but at the same time, you know, I, I have family members who suffer from it. It's, you realize how serious it is when Rosie mm. says stuff like she can't, like her sister can't drive. She'll never be able to drive because she, you know, it's so bad that, you know, she yeah. might suffer one at any point. So if you do suffer from it, please make sure you check everything out before you start playing this game. Uh, it's it's you know for, for your own health is really really important. Um, uh, CD Projekt Red then responded to this with a short tweet yesterday, saying uh, thank you for bringing this up. We're working on adding a separate warning in the game um, regarding a, a more permanent solution. Dev team is currently exploring that and will be imp- implementing it as soon as possible. So I guess um, I, I know we, we we joke a lot of the time, but like seriously, like just just take care of anyone that is playing this. Um, just just you know. Take care, really. There's nothing much more else to say. And if you need to read more about it, then go to Game Informer. Uh, I, I read it yesterday. It was it was it was really informative, even for someone that doesn't uh, suffer from epilepsy. But yeah. Um, and do you guys have anything to say about that, or is it only a small thing? And it's um, after doing some reading about this, uh, mm. there's a, a mechanic in the game called Brain Dance. Mm. I think yes. you put on this headset, the BD headset, mm. and um, it, that it's this flashing images of, of yep. white and red. I think it is something like that. Mm. Um, and apparently, the headset they use for this and the effect that it creates is very similar to something in real life that is used to induce epileptic seizures when needed for <laughs> for what for medical yeah, purposes. Yeah, for medical, or whatever. Yeah. So it, it it would be a huge coincidence if they designed this and it just happened to be near identical to something that creates seizures in real life. Yeah. Which means that they probably use that for research to design this thing, Hmm. which means how stupid you have to be to not take the necessary precautions to make sure that it doesn't actually produce what the original thing's trying to produce. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of things in the past that CD Projekt Red have done that are bloody stupid things. Uh, 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 in different in different um, scenarios, like they did a, an AMA and ask me anything um, thing on eight chan, which oh, is yeah. for people who yeah. think that four chan is too tame, <laughs> and it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. like they've they've been they've they've said some uh, they've done some sexist portrayals of characters in the past. They've yeah, said well, some very on the cusp things on Twitter in the past, like. This is a company that, you know, doesn't quite necessarily understand um, 
people. <laughs> there, there was uh, that's a, you make a really good point actually. And like I said, as someone that loves their games, I, I I still stick my hands up and go, no, they they've screwed up way too many times recently with regard. Like we've said previously, with regards to like the welfare of, of anyone working for the, within the company, mm. but uh, with regards to um, loads of other things I've seen recently, um, it's just I I don't like. I, there's, there's, there was an, an article, I can't remember what it, was, what it was on, I think it was Polygon actually, um, I think, uh, where basically they were just saying that they're trying to appeal to like the edgy side of the internet for cyberpunk, and they, it's it's not, like, it, they, yeah, it seems... But they've, 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 they've been on the edgy side of the internet before cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah like, absolutely. It's not just cyberpunk, It's I think it's a larger issue at CD Projekt Red. Um, yeah, absolutely. And like you know, I don't believe in cancel culture. I think, and, and I also think that people can change, or even if they can't change, can still adapt to like how to behave hmm. and how to like just try and at least pretend to be a good human being, yeah, or, or someone with who respects and respects other individuals. Yeah, and it's it's so conflicting for me because as a company that's so pro consumer hmm. and really. If you're a fan of CD Projekt Red, you will get rewarded in in, in multitudes. Yeah. But at a risk, at, at, sometimes at a cost. Yeah. And that cost could be deadly. <laughs> you yeah. could literally have a major epileptic seizure and not be able to come out of it and not have someone nearby who can help. Yeah. It, it's so please, genuinely terrifying. please be careful. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I I don't think any more can be said about that. Really, you've you've summed it up perfectly. It's just, it's it's a shame and and. At, at least with the, with um what we were just talking about with the um the epileptic seizures that that has been co- that's been caused by the game at least they're trying to do something about it but the fact that it was yeah. there in the first place because mm-hmm. I re- I read that as I read that as well I did, I, I wasn't able to read too much into it because I was I was I was busy but I got the gist of what was happening on here and I was like my god what are they what are they what are they what are they doing and yeah it's yeah, it's it's, and I'm going to continue with cyberpunk because actually the next story is going to be about cyberpunk and I think in general it's been a very weird it's been a very weird release um, mm. for, for a game. I can't remember a game causing this many issues with it. with regards to the actual game itself and everything that's surrounding it. It, it feels like I can't remember the last time a game, game caused this this many problems. Um, so Cyberpunk in, in particular... GTA 5? Maybe, maybe GTA but, uh, 5. Even then, like I, no one, no one almost died playing yeah, that game. Yeah, I mean, I, I've never heard of any this this many issues with the game, and mm. and actually within the game itself, there's loads of bugs and issues that have been reported on. Um, there's got there's got to be a fix in the day one patch apparently, but apparently that even with some people who have been given a copy that is technically a day one patch, uh, has it like um people who work for uh you know journalists and such, there's still Game issues Spot, there. AGN, yeah, yeah. games for all those companies and. It, it does feel, I mean, the thing is, you said this before, Dav, Witcher 3, that came with bugs for like mm. six months. The first six months, it was just buggy as heck because it was such a huge game. And we can appreciate that in the same way that like Fallout, it's a, such a huge game. There's so many things happen. You, It is hard to try and trace and check everything. What's interesting about um, Cyberpunk, though, is uh, the game's preload download size was originally somewhere around 50 gigabytes and it's now 102 gigabytes. And that doesn't include the patch. Um, and like I said, it's not going to. Good fix... luck on PS Five. <laughs> Honestly, that that well again, that's one sixth of the of, of the storage space that you have available, like straight away gone on on and a game. And that's not even the PS Five version. No, exactly. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, what what I imagine will, I mean, at some point in the future, there will be. I imagine they will shrink that down because this company yeah. again was able to get The Witcher Three on the Switch with thirty gigabytes. Mm. So. I imagine the, that will get smaller in the future, but yeah, it's um, it's just very trouble. I mean, the one thing it's very fortunate for as well is that even with all those issues, they still everyone is still giving it scores like ten out of ten, nine out of ten. It's got a ninety-one on Metacritic. Uh, Open Critic is exactly the same, ninety-one. Everyone's recommending playing it, but it seems that that's got away with bugs and issues where other games haven't, like Days Gone in particular, that got review bombed by reviewers themselves purely based on. The glitches and the bugs that it had in that game, uh, but that that got a load of patches. I played it last week, plays fine now, but it, it's still if you go Metacritic, the score is still like sixty nine. You know, it's it's <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah, <laughs> Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I think you haven't said anything in like ten. Minutes. I know that's the thing you said, isn't it? Oh, he's a little giggle. It's sixty nine. Oh god, but yeah, but yeah, it's interesting. I'm I'm gonna see what happens tomorrow. I'm gonna see what the game is like tomorrow anyway. But Zach, 
Zach, has there ever been a game that you've loved, even though it's been glitchy as hell? Skyrim. Skyrim, yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, because yeah. it's because it's I and mean, it's that's what that's all I've been thinking this whole time. Is I mean, because that's my last my last experience of like a big game that's buggy mm-hmm. as hell. That's one of those games that's now kind of beloved for its bugs. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. unless you're into like modding, which. I guess at this stage you probably kind of have to be, mm. but if you go back to like, I mean, I play it on the Xbox 360, so no <laughs> modding for me. But yeah, if you, yeah, it's buggy as hell, and I fucking love it for it. I yeah. I had a friend yesterday uh, on Monday be like, I've heard of this game called Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Is it any good? Like, <laughs> bro, where have you wow. been? Oh, Whoa, your entire life? ten years too late, buddy. I was like, I okay. If you've never played it, you're gonna have so much fun. But like you have to understand, I played this so much back in the day that yeah. I have no desire at yeah. all to go anywhere near mm. that game. But you have a blast. You're gonna yeah. love it. But like, I I, I never finished. Been? I never finished Skyrim. I played it around the same time as The Witcher Three. It came, but like I bought them both at roughly the same time, and I was playing them both at the same time. And I put about fifty hours into Skyrim, and I put about two hundred hours into The Witcher Three, <laughs> and that's I, I I was just done. I was like, Witcher Three just. It suited me a bit more than, than Skyrim. I think, yeah. I think it was... By the time you were playing that, I mean, what was that? It was a couple of years ago. Well, it was on the Switch. So uh, Yeah, okay, I, so it's 2017. So, like, it aged a bit. Let's just say I think that. it's too late to play Skyrim now. Like, Unless you have any nostalgia for it. I don't even really want to play... I got Skyrim on the VR for my PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, nice. Last oh, I year. played that. My, yeah, I played that. My, my pal's yeah. got it. Yeah. It, it, I mean, like, if I played it in 2011, heck yeah, but I was playing it in 2019, so I was like, eh. Did you, get, did you feel a bit sick? I did, but I think I would get over it. Well, in fact, so I've been playing uh, Resident Evil 7, not oh. recently, because I'm a baby and it scares me, but it did maybe I've started to get used to the to all that stuff. To yeah. be honest, I uh, when we had that, remember we had that show with Callum came, yeah, yeah, yeah. came on, and he because he's a, a VR expert yeah, for yeah. anyone who didn't see that, that, that episode, and he was like, yeah, don't get the PSVR. No, it not knowing that that's the one I bought. But he was so right. He was yeah. really right. I'm looking at like Oculus uh, Quest at the moment, and it nice. just looks so awesome. I'm probably not going to get it because I don't have a spare 300 pounds in a mm. global pandemic where I'm I can't work. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, I think if anyone's thinking about VR, that's probably the way to do it. And he's he's probably your man to speak to as well because he knew a hell of a lot when it came to VR. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, so like I said, I'm, I'm going to play Cyberpunk uh, tomorrow and we'll we'll see how it goes. Open world games. I, th- I think one thing I will say from reviewers is that, and something Zach, as you've just mentioned, th- there was a lot of people saying open world fatigue may be starting to set in. And maybe if this game had came out when The Witcher 3 came out, there wouldn't have been so much fatigue. Uh, uh, yeah. Ghost of Tsushima just won player's choice <laughs> yeah but I mean, we know I'm not why sure about <laughs> um, awesome so let's move on to Microsoft and Xbox Game Pass because it is coming to iOS and PC in 2021 the cloud gaming murder uh, Microsoft released a statement today saying that expanding Xbox to new players is central to our ambition of helping games and developers find an easy path to the world's 3 billion gamers we are doing this by embracing multiple devices and providing a consistent Xbox experience wherever you log in, whether that's on your Xbox Series X, S, PC, Xbox One, Android device, or starting in spring 2021, your PC and iOS device from the cloud. I'm genuinely really chuffed about this because yes! I want to be like, I, I will get, I'll get it now because I'll, I can, I, I, it, for me, it is a novelty almost on my on, on my phone. It's it's mm. great for pe- people, you know, who, you know, if it works on, it works on, brilliant. It's a bit of a novelty for me. The fact that I can now cloud stream to my really old computer, I'll I'll get it. I'll I'll, I'll use it. I like I'll, I'll happily keep it because I yeah I can use it essentially. But yeah, mm. I, I'm so happy you can. Find, that was the one thing Stadia had on X Cloud. It was you could stream from a PC. Yeah, because you could use a wide connection. Yeah, it would be a lot smoother. And you might actually be able to stream Forza Horizon 4. Yeah. But because um, you could not on the phone, mm. let me tell you. But, um, oh, God, yes. And Zach means there is no excuse anymore. Get on it. <laughs> you can get three months for a pound. <laughs> three months for a yes, pound. I'm a Microsoft chill. Yeah. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, awesome stuff. I mean, we knew it was coming. Uh, and like I said, the one thing I'm really excited for is when it, when they've got an app for the TV because I'll definitely download that and I will I will already. Have I don't it. think I totally understand what that means. That means that my computing pro- my computer's processing power 
doesn't that doesn't affect it. It's all done nope. to internet. If you if you've got a strong enough internet to to stream uh, the games, which you can test out anyway. For okay. A month, Do you know uh, what? You're absolutely right. I have yeah. no excuse anymore. I will definitely try and I it think out. Some of them will you can actually use... download as well. Some of them you can download and play them. Or am I talking up my? No. Uh, if if they if they're valid for Game Pass for PC, you can download them. Yeah. But then obviously yeah, then yeah, you, you are relying streaming. on your yeah. computer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but you, you guys can... are you guys are saying the streaming um, has been really good. It's awesome. So, yeah. It's, Overall, it's really yes. Yeah, yeah. Really there are good. some games it just does not work. But yeah, yeah that's I, interesting. Forza for me as well. My phone just did not. Work. I know you said that, but I was just just wanted to add that it also did not work yeah. for me either. So I think I think with Forza Horizon Four, there's there's no load. There's barely, well, there's barely any load screens mm. while you're in the open world. So it's like. Uh, I've got to render the whole world right now <laughs> <laughs> on my on my crappy Android phone. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Oh god! But yeah, it's um, I'm excited. I'm I'm really glad. I was when I saw that because that news came up today, and I was like, "That's awesome!" As soon as I saw that, I was like, "Great! I need to mention that because that's, that's great news." Uh, so let's keep moving on and let's stick with Microsoft. Uh, so um, the creative director of Halo Infinite, uh, Joseph Staten, I believe, is it Staten? 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 Uh, We'll go with one of them. Never heard I apologize if it's wrong. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. I've never heard his name out loud, so I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, but anyway, uh, he has given a release window for the previously postponed game and spoke briefly about why they moved it in the first place. On uh, Halo Waypoint, he said, this discussion boiled down to one fundamental truth. We needed more time to do things right. That, that included uh, pushing hard in the fall, giving the team time to recharge over the holidays and then coming back in January to finish the game at a healthy pace because Halo Infinite in the fall of 2021 is just the beginning of the adventure. Um, uh, beyond that as well, he said that he just basically just said that the game wasn't meeting their expectations graphically. It looked fine, but I think yeah. it got... Begin- yeah. When they said beginning of the adventure, beginning of the Halo adventure or beginning of the Halo Infinite adventure? Yeah. Halo, yes. Infinite adventure, Halo Infinite adventure. It's going to, it's going to be a live... It's going to have like games as a service stuff and a live thing, but also a campaign. Mm. It's like an open world campaign thing going on. It's going to have a battle royale mode, probably. Mm. And so, yeah, it's just going to be like a platform for lots of Halo stuff going forward. Yeah. Kind of like how um, Call of Duty does it with Warzone yeah. and then yeah, yeah. other games in there. It seems like it's going to be something of that ilk, somewhere between Warzone mm. and uh, Destiny. Yeah. It's well, uh, like I said, it's coming up for next. Well, next. Well, I mean, fall to Americans, they'll know very specifically. But to to us Brits, uh, it's about September, September onwards, September October. I think. November. I think yeah. they'll probably go in November. Yeah, or I maybe, think so too. I guess with Game Pass, it's not too relevant when the game yeah. comes out. No. But um, can you read that? Read a bit again. What is yeah. what Staten said. Uh, bit... So I'll read what he said from the t- from the start to the finish. This discussion boiled down to one fundamental truth: we needed more time to do things right. That included pushing hard in the fall. I imagine this fall they're talking about, giving the team time to recharge over the holidays, and then coming back in January to finish the game at a healthy pace. At a healthy pace. Yeah, that's my favorite yeah. bit of the whole thing. That's the important thing, really. Isn't like it? they are trying because you know. Um, 343 Industries who make uh, Halo games since Bungie left mm. um, they've been they've crunched in the past mm. um, I don't I think there's several stories out there about that um, and they've not necessarily treated their employees the best at, at, at some times I think Halo 4 was a bit of a soft uh, sore spot yeah. for that but to hear something like that hopefully it's not just words mm. and they actually do that but it it feels like they actually care and like the, they're going to delay the game by a year Mm-hmm. And they delayed it from the launch of Xbox Series. Yeah. Like, that's big. Like, a lot of other companies, I think, would have crammed, shipped a less than perfect product. Well, no yeah. game's perfect. A less than adequate product and then patched it yeah. over time. But they, you know, they, there's a lot resting on this game for Microsoft. Yeah. Um, but it's nice to see that they're taking the time that they think is necessary to make this game um, a viable day one play mm-hmm. slash purchase. Well, I said I said to you earlier. Um, I'm very. By the time this comes out, I'll probably make a decision about whether to get the Series S. I'm not going to bother getting the X because I, I don't. I don't because I got the PS5. I don't really need it, and I just want. I just want a way to be able to play 
Xbox games, uh, yeah. you know, very quickly and easily on an Xbox, and not have to rely on streaming if you know streaming is not great for me um, all the time. But yeah, really excited. And like I said earlier, check out the pictures online. Me, like we, I chucked them in the group earlier. They're really, it looks great. It looks really good. It does. So good. It looks really it's, nice. It's and last multiplayer, it should look yeah. better. Um, single yeah. player. Single player. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so we're gonna move on to Bioware now. As Dav mentioned earlier, two hugely influential people in the company are leaving. In a message from uh, Laura Mierley, I believe it is, uh, Chief Studios Officer for Electronic Arts on the Bioware blog page, she said, "We strive for all our studios to be placed where talented, creative people come to do career defining work." Uh, Casey Hudson, GM Bioware, and Mark uh, Dara, executive producer of Dragon Age, are two of those people, and they've decided to move on from Bioware. Um, I want personally to thank uh, Casey and Mark for everything they've done from the Bioware community and particularly for our players. Uh, they will always be an essential part of the studio's history. Mark Mark in particular, I think he was involved with all of the Mass Effect games, like 1, 2, and 3. And, and uh, all the and, Dragon Age and games. And the Dragon Age games as well. Yeah. It's, it's, it, they're most... They, I, I know I, I talk about Knights of the Republic all the time, but their two most successful franchises are realistically um, Dragon Age and, and Mass Effect. And yeah, I mean, he was Casey Hudson's been there since Nice Little Republic. Exactly. So K- the Casey Hudson's been there. Like it, it. This is this is fairly huge, especially considering, like I said earlier, Dragon Age Four is apparently going to get a, um, an announcement trailer um, tomorrow. Uh, the Game Awards. Um, I I do wonder how how things are going to be affected by that because I don't know. It, it, it's 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 huge, and it it does seem like Bioware as a company now. I, I was reading about it. Bioware as a company now. This. There's not really, really many people left from like the glory days of Hollow Switch One, Two, and Three. Yeah, um, and sadly, it it does seem that it 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 does seem I don't know when was the last good game they put out. I mean, Dragon Age Three, maybe, uh, Dragon well, Age Inquisition. Inquisition isn't yeah, Inquisition maybe it was fine. I don't know how it got Game of the Year. Um, yeah, it did get Game of the Year. I didn't couldn't it? Yeah. complete it. it yeah, was, I didn't complete it. It wasn't either. interesting enough. Yeah, I I mean, for me personally, the last game that I finished of theirs was. Mass Effect Three and ninety percent of that game was really good. Uh, I know the problem with that. <laughs> the, the problem with that game though is that the last ten percent was when EA which started 10%, rushing them. <laughs> which ten percent didn't you like, Johnny? <laughs> Definitely the first ten percent. Yeah, Definitely. yeah, it was the first, the first. Um, one, obviously. But it, the, the last uh, a, a game with that game, that game was rushed. That game was pushed out when it shouldn't have. When it, it should have waited like six months, but EA pushed them. And I mean, the response to that, I remember it being apps. I remember it people being were mad. Huge, it was so angry. And do you know what? I like. It's not that I get it. I mean, I'm never really going to be like on on Twitter like screaming at someone, um, but like I get why people were upset. I I do get why they were upset. I don't condone like screaming at people and telling people off when it's just a game. But at the same time, I get it. Like, what is it like ten years of playing, putting all this worth uh, effort in, uh, into these characters you mm. played as and grown with, and then it's just kind of like none of the endings really are different. So there we are. It's fine. Let's go around the room. Uh, Dragon Age or Mass Effect? Go, Zach. I don't like either of them. <laughs> I have actually only played a little bit of both, to be fair. Yeah, but they sure. both, both of them, both games. Actually, I had moments where I just kind of found myself not being gripped. Yeah. I think it was one of those cases though where I played both of them too late. I, yeah. You know, I kind of mm. I played them once. It, the, the sort of whatever it is about what's it. The, what's on. the word? German word? Zeitgeist. The Zeitgeist, <laughs> the Zeitgeist. Yeah, Zeitgeist. yeah, yeah. I think that that's all it really was. So it's not. Re- I, I don't really have a very good opinion mm. on it all. What but about you, Johnny? For for me, um, I mean, it's Mass Effect, but it's the only ones I've actually played. I, I played Dragon Age Inquisition mm. for about three hours. I just couldn't get into it, and then mm. it was around 2013, and I bought that along the same time as the Last of Us One. Mm. I played them both at the same time and put one down, and then uh, yeah. ended up playing one a lot. Um, mm. What you not... never you never played the Last of Us one? <laughs> Only for three hours. Only for three hours. <laughs> um, what happens in the end? I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> but oh, yeah. I hope they don't do a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are gonna be mad. Oh uh, yeah. But um, how about you, Dav? Uh, it's weird. I have only ever completed out of the six mm. Dragon Age Mass Effect, uh, seven Dragon Age Mass Effect games. I've never completed one. That was Mass Effect one. Mm. Um, I played Andromeda more Ooh. than I played Inquisition and Andromeda was not a great game it was hot. Um, people did not like that game I played like not. 20 hours of it though and it was like enjoyable and fine um, but I think of all the games even though I never completed it Dragon Age Origins Dragon Age 1 yeah it's just so cool like 
Zach, I think you'd really enjoy it. Mm. Um, well, this is the thing. I came in at Dragon Age... Th- which is the third one? So there's Dragon Inquisition. Age Inquisition, and there's Dragon Age 2, and there's Dragon Age Origins. I think it was Inquisition I played. Uh, it makes sense. Around 2013. Yeah, probably. that yeah. sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah. Um, and I just remember just feeling like, what the fuck is going on? Like, where am I? Who? What's this? What world am I in? And I, <laughs> I, I, I to be honest, um, I, that's on me. That's my bad. So I kind of feel like, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I feel like if I went back to the first one, I probably would kind of enjoy it. I, I think as far as characters go and storytelling, Dragon Age Origins was the closest they got to recreating the Knights of the Old Republic feel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, even though Mass Effect is sci-fi. That's interesting. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, to be fair, like... Uh, it's just a shame they haven't got anywhere near those. I mean, Mass Effect Two is one of the highest rated games of all time, and mm. it just it just seems weird that the, I mean, the, what was the last three games they put out? Mass Effect Andromeda, which was buggy as all hell, Rush Anthem, Anthem, which was just ugh, can't wait for rough. them to re-release that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, we'll we'll just have to keep an eye on on Bioware because yeah, it seems to be a lot of changes. Someone has there. to. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny, funny. I should mention earlier about Naughty Dog and The Last of Us because Neil Druckmann has become the co-president of Naughty Dog. Um, an update from studio president Evan Wells um, said, "As we close out a year that has seen its challenges, as we all live through a global pandemic, there have been bright moments too. One exciting moment for Naughty Dog was the long-anticipated release of The Last of Us Part Two in June. Another moment comes today as we wanted to share some other terrific news about stu- the studio." Uh, at an all studio meeting today, we announced some well deserved promotions. Neil Druckmann now joins me as co president of Naughty Dog after serving almost three years as vice president. In addition, we are welcoming Alison Mori and Christian uh, Greiling as vice presidents of Naughty Dog. Um, to be fair, like I was looking through what Neil Druckmann has done for Naughty Dog. He, I know, Zach, I know, Zach, one thing I would say, you, I know, I know, we haven't mentioned Uncharted in a while, but I imagine the one thing you would say about those games is at least the story. I mean, the story is one of the better parts of those games. He yeah. actually wrote... He was the writer for all of the Uncharted games. Um, and it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, he Last of Us 1, Last of Us 2. All the best games from Naughty Dog, Neil Druckmann has been in charge of or had a huge influence um, on, on. So, yeah. I mean, I'm a, all, I'm a big fan of... I'm a big fan of He's great. Uh, Neil Druckmann. I'm yeah. concerned with him being promoted. I don't know how much of an impact that will actually have on his role within game development. Mm. But I'm concerned that he'll end up picking up a lot of the big picture stuff yeah. and not be able to work so intricate. I mean, I'm almost certain they will do a Last of Us three. Absolutely, and they will. I'm almost certain I'm not going to enjoy it as much. <laughs> I'm I ju- just, and it's not really a reflection on Naughty Dog so much as it's a reflection on uh, the the culture of the sequel culture that we have. Yeah. You know, like it, it it is the typical thing that. The more sequels you do, the more likely you are to devolve into something else. Mm-hmm. Um, and in a way, I don't know. There's a lot of hate for Neil Druckmann out there, and there I really hope he, I really hope he doesn't get a whole bunch of flack for it. I don't think he deserves it. I do think he deserves the promotion. I think he's done a very uh, a lot of very good things over the years for Naughty Dog. Yeah, he really has. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, I don't think there's much more else to say about that. Um, I think the one thing I will say is um, he is writing the TV show. He is. Uh, That's going to be really interesting. He He's going to be spread thin. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see what he what his output is when it comes to video games for the next yeah, couple of years. Yeah. Because you know TV shows and the to- they, you know they, didn't, they don't take uh, not a short amount of time to make those. Are things. you guys going to watch the show? I'll, abs- I'll definitely no. watch it. I'll definitely watch it. I just, more more to curiosity than anything. I just want to see what they do. After you just outright say no, it's like no. no. <laughs> well, the same you with haven't, play, you haven't played the games though. though. Even if I had, no, no. But I'm saying you need to play the games. That's that mm. needs to be. Uh, a... Oh, it will. Uh, that will happen yeah, eventually. Will I'll come. borrow someone's PS4, smash through them. <laughs> but I will watch that TV series. Um, so I love, I love the like. <laughs> I love that Dab's created this character where he hates PlayStation, like just <laughs> just for no reason. It's not a character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but one thing we do need to talk about, though, we're talking about um, video games uh, becoming TV shows. We're actually talking about video games becoming films. And Oscar Isaac is to star as Solid Snake in Sony's Metal Gear Solid movie, according to Justin Crawl of Deadline. Uh, Sony's long-awaited Metal Gear Solid adaption looks to have gained 
some major momentum, he says. As sources tell Deadline that Oscar Isaac is attached to play Solid Snake in the film, which is currently in development at Sony Pictures, with Jordan Vogt Roberts on board to direct. Uh, it's based on uh, Metal Gear Solid games and not Metal Gear. The the Metal Gear Solid game that came out in, was it, 98? Um, and it's being published... Uh, I, I think the script... Oh, the script is written by Derek Connolly. Don't know who that is. Um, so, yeah, uh, that that was an interesting character... Uh, decision i mean i guess i do i do really like oscar isaac i really do like, i really like him but as an actor does he have to be in everything <laughs> he is in quite a lot of things i don't think i know who he is hold up i'm just googling him oh yeah you wouldn't see have you seen the new star wars films no uh, oh he's poe dameron he's, in those he's poe dameron in that he's uh he's in into the spider-verse but you would never know yeah he's um, going to be i don't in recognize him I'm, I'm looking at his face he's in uh, uh inside lewin davis which is a really good film ex machina Ex Machina's in as well, yeah. Such a good film. That's a great film. Um, uh, no, I don't recognise him at all. I'm he's in some really go. cool. He's done some really cool films, and he's a really Ooh, cool guy. Did, like, did you see Annihilation, that Netflix film, a couple of years ago? No, I didn't. That's a really funky film. He's in that. Um, yeah, yeah uh, he's in a lot. He was in out. and he's, he's in, in Sucker Healthier Punch, Solid, which I did see. I don't oh remember God, that. I haven't seen that. No, I don't. See, is he in Ghost of Tsushima? What? Sorry. I was making a joke, but the fact is called Sucker Punch. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Just, just, yeah. It's fine. No, it was it's a fine. film called Sucker Punch. No, that I yeah, never, I remember, I remember never was, need uh, to see. It was terrible, wasn't it? I it remember was Sucker awful. Punch coming out. It was awful. Yeah. It was, it was. Uh, well, anyway, almost as bad as that joke. Anyway, yeah. uh, <laughs> um, that's what that's it with the news. Be? There's, there's okay. nothing else. Um, do you want, guys? I have nothing to talk about with regards to games. I mean, I've been playing Spider Man still, but there's nothing really else to say about that. I love my PS5 and. That's it. Uh, anyone else want to go? Anyone else? I'll go. Yeah, Zach, go. I've been playing this. Oh, yay! yay. On my... There it is. Pokemon Ruby. Ruby. Which Ruby, I tr- Ruby, I'm doing another Nuzlocke, which Pokemon I haven't done Ruby. since we started the show. I did a, a mm. silver nu- Nuzlocke, um, and that went pretty well. This Nuzlocke is going fucking horribly. <laughs> uh, Gen 3 is horrible to Nuzlocke. I've done this because I, I tried to do this earlier in the year. I tried to do one in like Jan, uh, mm. January or something and I couldn't. I just got stuck. This time I've had my whole team wiped out by my dad. Your dad is in it. So. Oh, I, um, well, not my dad, but the, the character. <laughs> he just dad. comes up and deletes the characters. He's yeah, like, no, well, you're not having yeah, this I one. lost. No, I lost all my Pokemon except for my starter, um, who is relatively over leveled. So now I'm just grinding. I'm just grinding. Mm. Oh, and also my starter grinding is grinding against your uh, dad. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. My starter is a Swampert, which is a ground and grass, Ooh, uh, ground yeah. and water type. Yeah, the problem yeah, with yeah. that is that it's four times weak to grass, and I'm in a grass area where it's all grass Pokemon. <sighs> I just don't want to do it anymore. I want to do a different Nuzlocke. Ruby is a bad Nuzlocke. <laughs> Snap it. Stupid. Snap the cartridge. Yeah. Do you know it's actually already a bit broken? I don't know how it happens. <laughs> it's a little bit like just, chewed just... or something. No, I think, again, I, I say the same as I did last time. I think playing Pokemon again as a grown-up, definitely do it as a Nuzlocke. It's way more fun. Yeah. I'm just... I just don't think that Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald are the best ones to go with. Mm. I think probably the first one is probably the best one, but then Silver was pretty good as well. I might, um, I might start a Platinum. Nuzlocke. Same. I want to see. I want to go through because the last one, the last one I played was Gen three. So I want to do Gen four, Gen five, Gen six, Gen seven, all the way up to Gen eight. Mm. Never played Gen four. I never played Gen four. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Maybe we should do one uh, side by side. Oh yeah. Well, little... two meters away from each other. Say again. Two meters away from each other. Of course. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, that's what I've been doing. Vaccines. Um... <laughs> Vaccines are out. I know oh, it's not yeah. gaming news, but oh, it's yeah, that's, fucking oh, that's cool. True. Yeah, that some, is cool. Uh, so someone from Northern Ireland had the first one in the UK. Uh, yeah, and then the second person was called William Shakespeare, real name. Perfect. William Shakespeare. Scottish. So now Bill, Ga- Bill Gates actually has control over William Shakespeare. I know, right? He's controlling all wow. these old people. You're going to see them marching on Downing Street soon. He's, he's going to write Merchant of <laughs> Venice 2. <laughs> it sounds like a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're getting off topic. We've gone yeah. from. <laughs> um, anyway. So, again, Nuzlocke. Good, bad? Yeah, do it. Everyone do should it. do it at least okay. once. Everyone who likes Pokemon should do it once. I and don't if you like hate Pokemon, it. so I'll never do it, so it's fine. Good. Um, That's fine. You anyway. don't have to do it, but if you like Pokemon, <laughs> you are obligated do, to do it. Do you well, think. Johnny, um, instead of Pokemon Smile, you have to have Pokemon Frown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Um, yeah, uh, Daph, how about you? 
Anything? <laughs> uh, I've I'm still playing Control. Mm. Fuck me, that game's good. Yeah. Good lord, I think I'm about halfway through it, and I could easily see why it was last year's game of the year for so many people. Mm. It's incredible. Um, it's brilliant. There was one bit, a little bit of jank, where um I was trying to be cheeky and trying to be clever because mm. I was on the fourth level of somewhere yeah. and there was an elevator that would take me up to the fifth level, but it was taking forever. And I just locked an, an ability where you can like float like 20 feet in the air. So I thought, <laughs> well, I can just jump from this level to the next one. But the way the game loads the fifth level, you have to go a different way to get up and round. You can't use the elevator. So I was going up the elevator shaft, but there was like nothing there. And like, you got to where there was like a sign going, you're on the fifth floor. And then there yeah. was just nothing. It was just like oh, that's black funny. walls. And I was just like, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But uh, yeah, still playing Control, still loving it. Still playing Yakuza, still loving it. Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm just, I'm just plowing on through some games. I'm not going to be with my Xbox over Christmas. Mm. I'm stroking it now. Um, I've got to make sure I take out all the beers out of my Xbox fridge. Um, make sure you don't vape it before you, before you. Um, oh, too late. Yeah. Too oh, late. God damn it, uh, I, Dav. I started vaping just to vape my fridge. <laughs> um, you saw that it was like, it's like, well, is this what I've got to do? Is this how I'm going to play it? Just. Yeah. It's a weird way to start up a console, but 2020. <laughs> um, but yeah, still playing Apex Legends, enjoying mm. that. Still playing Rocket League, enjoying that. Um, with regards to Apex, me and Zach had a conversation the other day. We're going to try and we're going to try and play it away from Multiplayer Monday, so that one day we can come together on a Multiplayer Monday. I think and that's play smart. Together. So can we do it? Can we do it on Monday? Ooh, maybe. What well, after <laughs> Multiplayer Mondays? What just no, at the same time? Multiplayer Mondays. Oh right, so you're gonna you're gonna try and grind over the weekend and then be like, we're gonna win those matches on Monday. Oh, I don't want to be good at it. Like it's yeah. only fun. It's only fun oh, right. if I'm. Oh, we're terrible. I'm we're streaming me. Being really we're streaming bad. me. <laughs> <laughs> you two can do whatever, but we're streaming. <laughs> <me>. <laughs> okay, okay, deal, deal. Like Zach, Zach's just done. Zach's dead again. Yeah, John, Johnny's yeah. dead again. Yeah. All right, gotta go What's and pick him up. <laughs> Coming, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, who do you God. play? Instantly, who do you play as, Dev? So, um, usually I play as a character called Octane, um, who uh, has the most annoying voice lines of, the, of all characters, mm. but he's really fast. So I just like zip from place to place and um, try not to die. Um, and he, <laughs> his health regens. I think he's the only person who does that. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to access him unless you buy him. No, or I was going to say, I really liked playing as... There's like a robot character that I used to like playing as. Oh, yes. yeah, I saw the robot guy. I can't, uh, remember, I can't remember his bloody name now because I never played Because he has that him. cool like uh, zip, zip line thing. He has Path a zip finder, wire. Yeah. And he can also um, use the survey beacons to find out where the next ring is going to be on the map. Um, he's really useful. Right. Um, but like, there's a lot of like pro people who play as him. So, um, yeah, he's not fun to play against. Uh, I would suggest uh, starting characters. You've got um, Bloodhound, who's fun. Um, they are a um, non-binary character who um, their power is they set out a massive um, like orange I don't know like force field but instead of a force oh, yeah, field yeah. it tells you if, like, if there are enemies nearby and stuff uh, yeah, right, that's I cool. remember that that's cool. yeah. and then uh, their ultimate is like they become a bit quicker and they get red eyes which means like they see the world in like red and black and white but they can like there's like highlights of like if there's any enemies they're highlighted in red so they're really that's, that's cool, cool. Shooting stuff. yeah that's really cool uh, another good one to start with is Mercy who um, is a healing character and instead of having to wait for reviving someone she pops a thing down and you start like reviving and it's like a massive shield comes up so that she can carry on then shooting around ah, and stuff like that. She's really cool. That's really cool. And another character is called Bangalore who has uh, smoke bombs which are surprisingly useful and also when she gets shot she moves 50% quicker. Um, oh. So it means that you've got time Is it because like... she's being shot away like the, the bullets are carrying? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like oh, target on target watching me blah blah blah. So it's like so like, that's around. Yeah, there's some cool characters in there. Um this is going to be fun. Yeah, it'll be a laugh because I'm not anticipating putting any work into it whatsoever, so I'm just going to be garbage. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. And but... that's fine. I'm, I I can't wait to win games on my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't I'm make not, a difference. I'm not, even rocketing, that good. <laughs> I'm not even that good, but you guys are going to make me look amazing. To be, yeah. fa- to be fair, you're not wrong. 
Uh, the, other, the other good news is that probably if we play together, the, the, the people that we'll be paired against will be mine and Johnny's level rather than yours. Oh, yeah, that's a good we point. We can only pray they're not my level. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just love the fact that me and Zach are just going to be running around like headless chickens, just like shooting at everybody. <laughs> Tab, what do we do? What do we do? It's quite it's funny. It's going to be two, two level ones and a level 150. Wow. So uh, this will be wow. interesting. Me and Zach, <laughs> me and Zach, well, we're going to put some training in. We'll definitely get to level two. Let's just leave it there, okay? Um, all right. Should we... Um, oh, one thing I'll just say. I did play one game. Uh, I haven't really put much put, uh, put much into it. I bought uh, Borderlands 3 on the PS4 for 7 99 I think it was. Okay. Something. Uh, and, and it had a PS5 um, upgrade that was free. Nice. And it runs at 60 frames per second. It was, it's fine. Borderlands is fine. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I just fine, bought it because it? it was like so cheap. And I was like... It's fine. I hate Claptrap. He can he can oh, mate. piss off. There's um, a great sale on Xbox as well. I bought Yoku's uh, Yoku's. Iron, oh, I know the one you're on about. The pinball one. Yeah, the pinball one. Yeah, where you yeah. play like a little dung beetle mm. um, for like four quid. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking forward to tucking into that. Yeah. That sounds uh, nice. And Call of the Sea just came out in Game Pass. So I'm looking forward to tucking into that as well. Mm. Awesome, uh, guys. I think it's time for the quiz. Mm, yeah. Let's do it. Right. Um, I've been bad at the these show. for many weeks now. I need to up my game. <laughs> I felt really bad last week because you were just like, you got to stop giving Zach questions that he'll know. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for more Neil Druckmann answers. Oh, this is be... <laughs> Question one. What is oh, it's Neil about Druckmann? Majora's Mask. What a surprise. <laughs> How long is Neil Druckmann's penis? <laughs> oh, Zach um, this one. It's uh, seven and a half inches. I mean... Um... <laughs> That's flaccid, baby. Yeah, um, baby. <laughs> Awesome. Should we start with uh, Should we start with question one? This I think that's show, a good place to start. Do um, you reckon change. people said Neil Cuckman when Last of Us yes, Two came out? Yes, absolutely. It's did. still happening. I'm part yeah, of a bunch yeah. of uh, a bunch of uh, meme. Zach started Last of it. Us. Yeah, it was my idea. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's a lot of Cuckman happening. <laughs> oh, God. God. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Johnny. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, question one. Assassin's yeah. Creed began life as a spin-off for which Ubisoft series? If I get this wrong, I'll be upset with myself. I'm actually right, surprised to say I know this. I hope you're wrong. It's because I told you the answer the other day. Don't tell Daff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like call me and you're like, that, oh, these are all the answers. This is Microsoft, answer number one. Yeah. This is Microsoft Word document right now. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, uh, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, press enter. Daff, what are you going with? Prince of Persia. And Zach Hamilton, where are you going it's with? Prince of Persia. It is Prince of Persia. The answer whoop, is Prince whoop. of Persia. Uh, we're off to a flying start. Might uh, I say, thank God they're delaying that game because it looked like garbage when did, they announced it. it. I hope it looks better when it comes it, out. It, it looked like it, it was supposed Valhalla's to be like already out. Hey, oh yeah, that, it was supposed to be a remaster. Was the worst thing. It was supposed to be a remaster, and it looked just as bad. Well, in high, like it just, just looked, as it looked, old. Yeah, it just yeah, looked yeah. just as old as as the old game, which is mad. Uh, question number two. Uh, a racing game called Race and Chase suffered a glitch which made pl- the police cars go crazy, ramming the player at every opportunity. This led to it eventually becoming which famous game series? Race and Chase became which game series? Got it. Yeah, I'm nailing this. Okay, uh, three, two, one, press enter. Uh, Zach, what did you go with? <laughs> GTA. <laughs> uh, Dab, what did you go with? Burnout. It's GTA. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's GTA, you look yeah. skeptical was, at um, me. No, it was. Um, so I remember watching something about about this recently where like they would. It was just a glitch. Like, and I know it says, I know it said in the question, but like they 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 went home for for work. I uh, went home from work. They came in the next day, and there was a glitch where all the all the police cars were just chasing them. They're like, this is way more fun. It was way more fun. It was not a very good game before that, apparently. Um, although GTA One is is okay. It's okay. It's fine. Burnout's um, better. Yeah, Burnout's awesome. Also, uh, did you enjoy? I, I, was it Drive? It was Driver, not Drive. Driver. Driver. Drive's yeah, a good one. Driver, Driver was three. Well. Driver with a three good. instead of an E. Mm. Uh, was that right. the one where you like you like control other people driving or something? It's basically uh, GTA, but you're in the car. Yeah, like, GTA, just but you can't car. walk. Yeah, you can't ah. walk. That's all it was. Uh, okay, question number three. Todd Howard was involved with all of the following games, but which game was the first that he directed? Okay, uh, these are in alphabetical order. Okay, uh, so we got The Elder Scrolls Four: Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls Five: Skyrim, Fallout Three, uh, and Fallout Four. Oh shit! Uh, Which one did he direct first? Fuck, I don't know. All right. Okay, can I answer. Three, yeah. two, one, press enter. 
Ooh, Zach, what did you go with? We both went with Oblivion. You both went with Oblivion, actually. Yeah, you both went with Oblivion. The answer is Fallout 3. Yeah. Ah, it was going to be one of those two. He was the executive yeah. producer of Oblivion, and he was the executive producer of Fallout 4, but he's the uh, game director for Fallout 3 and game director for Skyrim. Uh, um, interesting. According to how long to beat, how many hours would it take a player to 100% complete Devil May Cry? The original Devil May Cry Fuck, I've never PS1. played it. I have. I completed it uh, last year, I think, actually. How many hours did it take you? I didn't 100% it. <laughs> okay. But not many. <laughs> no, it's not a very long game. Um, in this, well, I mean, by long, I mean, it's 100 hours. <laughs> by long, um, I mean, it's 8 inches. <laughs> it's bigger uh, than Neil Druckmann's life. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, you guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Press enter. Dav, what did you go with? 11 hours. Zach, Shit. what did you go with? Uh, I went with 21. The answer is 15, which means yes! our, our DG, Dav Gabe, takes the point. I beat the how long to beat expert. Yeah. You did. You uh, did. Question number five. Because I played it. And you yeah. Had yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I played for, I've played the third one, I think. Devil May Cry 3. Two Please is three. garbage, isn't it? Two isn't two. No, two, really two, is, uh, two isn't garbage. But it, it was garbage when it came out. Right, that's what it it's is. Like, it's kind of gotten a bit better as it's gone on because it's like, well, it's just like a slightly worse Devil May Cry 1. But Devil May Cry 1 isn't that good anymore. So it's mm. like, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's crap. It's crap. Uh, question number five. A famous American late night host had a cameo in Halo 4 as a lowly dock worker cracking jokes on a spaceship. But which of these hosts cracks the most jokes? Is it Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, David Letterman or Conan O'Brien? So I think I know this. Uh, do you mean they're all in it and which one cracks the most jokes? So only one of them is in it. Which of these hosts cracks right. the most jokes in Halo 4? As in which one of them is I in it? I actually think I know uh, this because I feel like I remember finding them and being like, wait, is that fucking... Like, I remember playing the game. Is I that feel like. that person? If not, then I'm remembering it completely oh, wrong. I've just made this up. I, I remember this, but I don't remember who it was, but I've got a guess. Is it Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, David Letterman, or Conan O'Brien? Yes, it's one of those. It's one of those. Yes, Johnny, you get the point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, you ready? Press three. Yep. Uh, press three. Three, two, one, press enter is what I'm going to say. Uh, you both said it. It's Conan O'Brien. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've said this previously on stream, but he actually does a really cool series where he's not he's not really into games, but he um, clueless gamer, clueless gamer. Yeah. He gets people to come on and play games with him, and it's really funny because he just screams at the TV. And it's but hilarious. One of the better ones is where he's playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I think it is, or yeah. uh, Origins or Odyssey. Um, but the build that they've given him uh, accidentally left the God Mode in. So he presses a certain button and God mode turns on, oh and God. they designed the God mode so the character model just like starts floating and like flapping their arms like they're flying. Oh my God, amazing! That's, that is good. amazing. Very um, good. Awesome. Let's move on to question number six. Um, which game with a score of eighty nine, not very high this week, is the highest rated by reviewers on Metacritic for Koei Tecmo? Um, the uh, games are Dragon Quest Builders Two, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Neo and Neo do. 89 is fairly low, isn't it? Yeah. I've got an answer. What, was the three, what, were, what were they? Uh, so it was Dragon Quest Builders 2, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Neo and Neo 2. Fuck, I have no idea. That's Neo, not Neil, the game about the Druckmann Neil. Uh, penal it's, surgery. It's, it's, it's the game about Neil. Oh, Neil whoops, Druckmann's I already answered surgery. My bad. Right, I've got an answer. Uh, okay, show me what you got in three, two, one. I mean, Zach's already done it. What do you got? So, Dab, what did you say? Neo 2. And Zach, what did you say? Dragon Quest. The answer is Fire Emblem Three Houses. Huh. Good. Good. It Highest, should be. Yeah, it was, uh, which is crazy. Really crazy. Um, yeah, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, name that badly described game. Oh, God, I'm so bad at these. Easily persuaded man goes on a killing spree, biblical style. <laughs> I ch- I- <laughs> Say it what? again. Easily persuaded man goes on a killing spree, biblical style. I mean... It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. I'm really bad at these. I really like them, because I'm always like... I always feel like I should have got them. Easily persuaded, persuaded man. man. Yep. 
goes on a killing spree. Biblical style. Zach, yes. have you got an answer? I have an answer. Do you? <laughs> and I think and I think my answer makes sense, whether or not it's correct. Oh, uh-huh. Easily persuaded. So yeah, it has to be the game that um Easily Persuaded Man goes on a killing spree, biblical style. I've been a bit cheeky. If you want, you can get rid of biblical style if that's throwing you off. But oh, a that's bit a bit that's throwing me off. Yeah, see, that's a bit cheeky. That is, but it does make sense. Um, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think. Okay, my, okay. Yeah, I think okay. I got it. I think I got it. Okay. Uh, right. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, I, need I need to think of a game. game. Pokemon Blue. <laughs> what? Right, say it one more time. Pokemon I'll Red. Easily, yeah, I meant easily persuaded man goes on a killing spree, biblical style. Nah, I don't have an answer, so I'm just going to write Just, just have a guess. Have a, have a guess. Um, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Press enter. <laughs> Dad, what did you go with? Uh, Toy Story 3, the game. I think that's correct. Sorry, Zach. I'm not going to take that. Uh, Dang it. Um, uh, Zach, what did you go with? I went with Assassin's Creed. I like that. It's not the right answer. Uh, Dad, it makes sense, yourself. though, right? Easily persuaded man. Okay. Now, would Easily you kindly persuaded. tell me the answer, Dav? Uh, I hate you so much. <laughs> it's Bioshock. Bioshock takes place <sighs> where in Rapture. Rapture. Yeah, yeah. I, I was yeah. I was quite proud of myself for that. Um, <laughs> question number eight: A popular <laughs> meme from the Civilization series has a famous world leader from history itching to drop nuclear weapons in the games. But can you name that leader? Yes. A popular meme from the Civilization series has a famous leader from history itching to drop nuclear weapons in the games. But can you name that leader? Yes. I think Dav can. I feel like if it's a meme, that it's going to be something stupid. Yes. How do you know memes so well, Zach? You, you <laughs> know your meme. <laughs> no, I know, but I mean, it's not, gonna be like, it's not just going to be like Kim Jong-un or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Reagan. That really famously nice guy, Ronald Reagan. Um, all right. You guys going to answer? Yes. How do you know memes so well, you dick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, okay. Uh, three, two, one, press enter. Zach, what did you go with? Oh, oh, Julius Caesar. That's a good answer. Dav, what's the answer, though? Gandhi. It's Gandhi. It's, it's a real apparently. So uh, I read about this. It's, drops it's, it's, nuclear so, bombs like a mother. Fucker. So what it's apparently what it's doing is um uh it, it, his um aggression level was zero, and uh, when something happened in the game, when like when if you it, attack him, it shoots up to like two fifty, like, he won't like the highest. You. Yeah, he never yeah. forgives you if you attack him. Yeah, and another one as well is if you do uh, there's um if you if you if you win or if you're winning by I I think it's by like. Uh, without beating anyone, you're doing it um, in in the best way possible. I can't remember what it's called, but basically, he freaks out and it it go it minuses two, but then goes in a circle and goes to like plus two fifty. So yeah, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah uh, that was Gandhi. Uh, in 1993, that was the Gandhi. Very, the very first video game was played in space. But which game was that? I think I know this one. In 1993, an interview the, other the day. very first video game was played in space, but which one? I know the answer. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually don't. But I do have an answer. Okay. Okay, you guys got an answer? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, press enter, and then Zach go first. It's Tetris. Dab, what did you go with? It's Space Invaders. It's Tetris. Yes. What? It's, Tetris. it's always fucking Tetris. It's always, te- it's always uh, Tetris. He did, this always Tetris. As, he did this to fuck with us because no, he knows I, that we <laughs> hate when it's Tetris. Well, no, it's just I saw it come up as a really cool fact and I was like, okay, what game is it? I was like, oh, no, it's Tetris. Yeah, That's yeah. too funny. That's too funny. And I originally I didn't put the date in, but I added 1993. That is a bit I, of a... Th- that throws me a little bit because it makes you think... It should be mm. a, a more recent game. See that. So as soon as I put 1993, I was like, I might help in a sense. Oh, um, Space Invaders was more recent. Mm, my first game in space was Tetris. Damn, All right, son. last question uh, before the tiebreaker. Uh, Katana was the code name for which video game console? Right. Say that again. Oof. Katana was the code name for which video game console? Ouch. This is the tiebreaker. No, 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 this is oh, the right. last question and then we'll have the tiebreaker. 
Oh, God. Katana, Katana. Um, Unless it was a console that I was waiting for, I probably wouldn't know, like, a code name. Like, I remember, like, uh, the Revolution, Revolution the and the yeah, Dolphin. I, I don't want to say any, because well, I guess you've said yeah. those two, you know what they are, but yeah. still, I don't want to say any more, just in case I give you give you help. But yeah, uh, do you have an answer, guys? Almost. I have four options. Uh, Zach looks like he could no, go I'm for okay. four. I'm okay. Oh, Dav's holding off. All right. Uh, all right. I hope I'm right now. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> all right. Um, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Press enter. Zach, what did you go with? Ooh, I went with PS3. Uh, Dav, what did you go with? Dreamcast. I'm pretty sure it's not Dreamcast because I was waiting for the Dreamcast. I don't remember what it was called, but it was called um... Katana. Oh, Woo! it's the Dreamcast. Oh, it's the Dreamcast. Oh, that's a shit console. That was, <laughs> the that was a bit, that, I waited for that console. I like mm. saved up a bunch of money and like. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't know it was called the Katana. It was the Katana. Dude, I still have it. I love my Dreamcast. It's, it's, I've had that now for nearly I feel 20 like years. Dab versus the Dreamcast is a continuing thing each week now. I'm going to try yeah, and stream It was a continuing thing games. on my stream. That would be, awesome. be awesome. I'm going to see if I can do it. Yeah, do it, man. I'd love that. Um, Not on Video Games Ahoy, though. <laughs> His own new channel. Zach streams Zach streams. Yeah, Dreamcast. Yeah, you can do that, but not for Video Games Ahoy. I, I don't want that wow. shit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. Um, tiebreaker question for two yeah. points. How what many are the games? scores? Uh, it's 5 4 to one of you. I'm not going to tell you who. Oh, it's 5 4. So whoever takes this, takes the win. I thought it was close. Uh, whoever takes this, takes the win. How many games released for the original Game Boy? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll never remember. See, the interesting thing with the Game Boy week. is it includes the Game Boy Color. Well, uh, some, of them, some of them. Some of them, not all of them. Not all of them. But this is including the Game Boy. So any games that can play on the Game Boy, um, yeah, because they right. included they included the Game Boy Color as part of the Game Boy, didn't they? Even though there were certain games that the Game Boy Color could play that the Game Boy couldn't. Am I right in that, or was it just basically a giving? You could play color? them. You could play cut. Yeah, you could play color games on the Game Boy, but without color. You could right. play Game Boy games on the color. But it would just be like block colors, I think. Oh yeah, it wasn't it, like it would give it, it wouldn't some be colors, like, but it would, yeah, yeah. I that. All I right, think that's right. All right, uh, here we go, guys. Uh, three, two, one, press enter. Ooh. Zach, what did you go with? Seventeen hundred and eighty-four. And Dab, what did you go with? Thirty-four hundred and ten. The answer is one thousand and fifty-six, which means Zach has won 6-5. Oh! That is in the really right rough. Until the end. That is really rough. Uh, I knew right it was close, that end. whole game. So... We, were, we were very close. Sorry about that, Dav. That was, that, was, oh. that was good. I enjoyed that, though. I enjoyed oh. that. Um, it was, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was tense. Tense as all hell. But, gents, that is the end of podcast number 34. Uh, thank you very much for listening today. If you enjoyed the show, then please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, tell your friends and give us a review or a comment because that would mean the world to us. Uh, this podcast is supported by a whole host of wonderful people, our lovely patrons of on Patreon. So to everyone that contributes, thank you again. We we really do love you. Uh, and if you would like to support us, then please go and check out our Patreon page, Video Games Ahoy. Um, you can pay £1, £5, or £10. You can pay anything you'd like. Um, if you'd like to give us more, that's great. If you'd like to give us less than £5, but more than £1, that's also great. Uh, and if you don't want to or can't, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, we're just grateful for you listening to the show. Um, I was chatting to my friend uh, yesterday, actually. He was telling me he he he, he actually listens to every single quiz. Like, every, it goes comes through all the way. Awesome. Which is great. And I love the fact that like people are listening to the quiz and enjoying the quiz. So thanks well, for tuning in. I'm really sorry to it. your friend for my subpar performance every week. <laughs> I even gave you the Gandhi question, Dav. Crying out loud. I know, and um, I asked for that. <laughs> but I did tell da- uh, Zach, to be fair. So I told me all the answers before. And he still got it wrong, so it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted uh, it to feel close. Yeah, you know? really I didn't awesome. want it to that's be really too awesome. obvious. Um, yeah. We're also proud to say that we're affiliated with Green Man Gaming. So if you do have any gaming needs and want to look for some delicious deals uh, in the run-up to Christmas, then make sure you head over to Green Man Gaming via the link in the description. Uh, finally, we are all streaming at the moment. We've had some really great streams, and Twitch is really it's it's doing really well. You know, we've I really enjoyed. I did Spider Man last night, and I had all the guys pretty much, apart from Dav Weeks, who's I mean, we can let Dav Weeks off. He's he's doing his show. He's, he's yeah. doing his show, so it's fine. The but it was, it was good fun. 
And you know, uh, yeah, just yeah, just we're streaming every night of the week now. We got multiplayer Mondays. We got. Uh, Johnny, Johnny on Tuesdays. Johnny Tuesdays. We've got yeah. Dav Wednesday, Thursdays. Yeah. I'm doing Friday, Sundays. The only night is uh, Saturday, but that's when the show comes that's out. That's when the so. show comes out. So, so you can you know, out. put your feet up, listen to the podcast, and just rage our disgraceful opinions on everything. <laughs> um, that is it. That is us. Um, I th- it's probably time to, to shoot off. We are Video Games Ahoy, and we'll see you next week. Ahoy. Bye.